the transfer window has officially started now as well. So let's see if we can get any offers in as well. I want to have a look at anyone who has been released as well. Or we need to also look at getting some players on loan or even try and buying them, to be fair. Let's try and get some money in now. So we go scouting center and let's see if we can find any decent players. So we've got Etebu, who is a defensive midfielder. I think he's a player that we could actually look at bringing in because we do need we do need some players with experience at the end of the day. So who's he wanted by 21 clubs? Let's see if any any of the top teams want him. Okay, so he's got he's got a good amount of attention on him at the moment. So I think just because of that, we'll we'll put in an offer for him and we'll approach to sign him. What's he after? He wants to be a squad player. Okay, he wants to, well, at least he wants to be in the squad. So, you know what? I'm going to say impact sub and see what he says. Okay, he's happy with that. So let's negotiate a contract with him now as well. We, mu we must register at least eight players trained by a club in England. What club did, did what, sorry, what club did he play for before? So he played for Stoke, which is in England. Before that, he, he was on loan at Wat Watford. And yeah, he's been a Stoke player for a couple of years. So realistically... We should be fine with this. So what was he on before? Oh, he's not on any. He's not on anything at the moment, is he? So a player of his caliber. What should we give him? What fifteen k a week? And let's say we'll give him a two year contract. Fifteen k. He wants nineteen. Four year contract. I'll give you a three year contract. I don't really want to sign. I asked you to make an acceptable offer. You failed to do so. Okay. So that's the first player that we failed to to get. It is what it is. I'm not going to complain. There are other players out there as well. So we've got a winger here as well. We've got Fusu or Fosu. Fosu. Let's have a look where he was before. He was at Brentford before as well. So you know what? Let's try and bring him in. Now, to be fair, we've got younger players. So we don't. This player here, um, Atipo, I kind of like how, how his stats look. He's a C. We're going to try and bring him in as well. Apart from my demands, we consider. So he's looking to be a squad player. Must be 21 or younger on the 1st, 2002 to be granted a work permit. Crystal Palace would need, would, would be able to allocate one of their three remaining ESC places for this, for this player to play. So that's the first player that we've put through an offer for. And I think that's just, <laughs> that's going to be it. It's time now to meet the weekly staff as well so i think we're going to do that now and what are they saying although it could cause up unrest mark guy is a better choice for captain than joe award what did we say we're doing with joe award first of all okay he's going so yeah let's make him the captain tomkins doesn't really matter because he's going to be going so let's move on from that and uh, you lot won that start that's fine we'll, we'll send dockery on some training we've got nathan what is this about so high potential players nathan ahamada Amada, and we got chris chris richards as well so that's something we can look for where this coaching department has capacity i'd recommend signing a new director of football so that is that what they want us to do sign a director of football i don't really want a director that's 60 though he's he's almost retiring okay so i do like this player right here ruiz so we'll get that scout in and adam adam johnson i don't really want to focus on all of, all of those stuff right now i want to get into the football side of things so there we go all right the first game is going to be against the youth players and i think what better way here okay here's our team dynamic so team leaders jordan au nathaniel klein joe award which we're getting rid of two of the team leaders au we'll see how it goes we got gay eze slop tomkins anderson michael elise mitchell will hughes lerma and then influential players yeah we'll deal with that after but let's introduce ourselves to the players now. So neutral, I'd like to introduce myself as your new manager and answer any questions that you may have, particularly if you're not familiar with me. So everybody's positive already. I like the sound of that. I'd like to talk about our Premier Division 
aims for the forthcoming campaign i'd like to discuss some promises i'm willing to make so i don't really want to do any promises so far but we'll just talk about the premier league i think we're good enough to finish in the top half and that aim should be high i don't want to even contemplate a relegation battle we're good enough to avoid no i think we're good enough to finish a mid table and we should and that should be our aim yeah so i'm going to be honest with them i'm not going to lie to them because we cannot compete with the for the premier league with them at the moment i like to talk about our fa aims and again i have nothing else to talk about i don't want to promise anything too early but so for our managerial support it's early days and the players are waiting to see the direction in which you would take the club there is strong sense of unity between the players and they should have no cause for complaint about the way things are going yeah so i do want to play the first game against our youth players but first thing we are going to do is a media press conference if you guys want to be part of the press conference there's only one thing you have to do leave a comment down below and the next video i'll put your comments into the press conference and i'll answer them as well all right so let's move on how excited are you to be crystal palace's new manager it's a real honor to be entrusted with this role and I'm excited about the future. So we're looking at the future and at the, in the future we want to win the Premier League at least or finish top, top four, top five. Many people think that Crystal Palace's wage budget is simply too small for you to bring in high quality players needed to improve the team. Are you going to approach your chairperson Steve Parrish and ask him to increase the wage budget? So I feel we need to be more competitive in the salaries we offer and that might have to be something we talk about in due course. Yeah, so that's true. I'm going to be honest. Why Crystal Palace? What was the, the allure of coming here? I think there's tremendous potential in this club and I'm excited to have the chance to help everyone here realise that. What made you sure this was the right job? I have no reservations whatsoever. This is where I was meant to be or I'm meant to be. Yeah, that's true. What challenges do you think you'll face as a young manager? Yeah, so this is the answer I want to give. I'm not concerned about my age. Football is moving in an increasingly younger direction and it's people of my generation who will be taking the sport forward. Let's tell them that. You don't have much of a reputation to speak of and many have expressed surprise that you have taken over as Crystal Palace manager. Can a little known manager such as yourself really run a club like this? I consider myself entirely appropriate for this job. Having been born in London, you must surely share some sort of connection with the fans despite not being a supporter yourself. Absolutely, I'm from around here and I know what to expect in terms of mentality and demand demands the supporters will make. What do you think of the Crystal Palace squad? I have a good idea about the quality of players at my disposal and I'm looking forward to see how much I can help them improve too. Do you have a good sense of sense yet of how the Crystal Palace players feel about your appointment? I think there's a buzz around the place at, at the opportunity for everyone to have a fresh start and the players appreciate that. What do you know about the Crystal Palace fans? The fans play a massive part. They'll come here in their numbers. They'll follow us around the country in all weather and we know that that's true where can this club go under your leadership as far as i'm concerned we should want to be the best team in the world the level of ambition should drive everything we do this isn't going to be a short-term thing we have a vision and plan to bring consistency well consistent success what can the crystal palace players expect from you in training i'm all about working smarter how good is it to have someone like Michael Elise to build this team around? I think he's an absolute dreamer for play and I think he's going to have a huge impact on our chances. We have a very talented squad and we'll need every player to perform to their fullest. And that's our first press conference. So remember guys, if you want to be a part of the next press conference, then just leave your comments down below. How would you like to split the players between the two teams for the intra-squad friendly so this is officially the first game that we will play. I know it's against our second second team, but I want to see what the boys are capable of. And let's start off. Let's start off the game and see 
how well they play. Raksaki is a player that I'm definitely interested in bringing into the team. Okay, the first team looks decent so far. They've stopped a lot of a lot of they've done a lot of interceptions. We just need to see where we need to improve on. Ooh, first goal. Come on, Rob Holden. And there it is. That's 1 0. A beautiful crossing from Eze. And Rob Holden with a beautiful header. And I'm liking that so far. I'm liking the link up play. First 30 minutes, and we do seem as if we're playing stronger than everyone else. Ooh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful free kick from, from Raksaki. Henderson should have saved that, to be honest. I don't know what happened there, but damn. So we've got a first offer in from FC Nant for 600k. And we managed to get about 1.1 million. Initially, they, they, they wanted to offer 425. So hopefully he does go to Nant. He, he apparently wants to go to Marseille. But let's hope he accepts the deal. We've also confirmed the signing of Adam Johnson. Our recruitment analyst, Ruiz, the player that we could possibly be getting on free, on, on a free transfer or not. Yeah, free transfer. He, he could be here by the 20th or let's say by the end of July. I've also done a few things. So friendly matches, we won't be playing friendly matches anymore. The reason being is we just want to get started into the Premier League. Our fitness coach has, has also Confirmed that he will be transferring to the club as well. So really and truly now we should be sorting out the football. We should be sorting out the style of football that we will, we'll, we're going to be playing and also the players that we want to get rid of as well. So I'm going to have a look at Mateta again and see if we can sell him because I don't feel as if he is good enough for us we can get around 9.2 million for him as well so I think he's also another player I'm going to transfer list as well and there's a reason why I'm doing this because I think everybody knows that in order for us to win oh wait what's going on in order for us to win we've got to be brutal we've got to we've got to start doing this now man we have to get rid of players that I just think are not good enough now, recruitment meeting, I don't know what they want to do a recruitment meeting for, to be honest, because we have no money. But, okay, what are they trying to say now? Our goalkeeper, sweeper goalkeepers, are uh, these guys. Um, okay. They are our only goalkeeper anyway, but okay. We've got Nathaniel Klein's contract expiring. We've also got Ferguson's contract, Will's contract expiring. So, I'm going to give him a new contract. Okay, so he's wanted by various clubs. When is his contract expiring? The 30th, 2024. So, all of these guys, yeah, I'm not going to give everybody a contract. Doesn't really make any sense. Rodney. Rodney looks decent. What position does he play in? He is a midfielder. So, he could develop... But yeah, we're going to skip that anyway. And removed from transfer list as he has a prominent spot spot in the squad planner. You don't tell me that, man. And we'll skip that. We, we should look for players of this age to help us meet the club's requirement. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. But as I said, we've got no money. So it's pointless, pointless of us looking for players if we've got no money at the moment. I think we've just got 600k. So it's a thing where we have to perform well in the league this season to be able to do anything. Following our recruitment meeting, I've noted a single off a new contract as it helps us fulfill. Can I get somebody else to do that? Yeah, we don't, we don't need to do all of that. We need to focus on the football that we want to play. And I think the tactics, should we go with tactics? Okay, so let's go to training as well. Let's set up our training plan. For the next month, I want to focus on match. So I want to do a bit of match tactics. We also need to do a bit of passing as well. Attacking, uh, tactical, no, ta oh, general. Let's see, yeah, general. Let's see, possession. We need to be doing a bit of that. Physical, attacking, 
patient build up or yeah let's do a bit of that as well oh you know what ah it makes sense we've we've got set to move to loan we've got our player going out on loan jack wells morrison but for Fana from chelsea is a striker that i probably that troll for Fana. he's on loan at the moment oh yeah see we won't be able to get him but let's let's see if we can find some more players as well we may have to go here and, and look for some players yeah reese williams how much is he worth 170 he's a goalkeeper and oh no he's a, a center back we do need a center back to be fair gasper from europe we have marco paulo this player has been listed for loan as they don't have a role for him to play he's a striker could he come here and change things for us? He can also play in various positions. Tell me sir, tell me if this hasn't happened for a reason. How much is he worth? 2.8 million. All right, let's see if we can get him on loan and see if we can get him for like 1.5 million. Okay, I accept that. So he's he's a winger. So we've actually, we've got a winger now. Joe Hart, again, is another player. But if they've actually listed him on loan, we could get it. If, if, if we can get him on loan, this will be listed for loan. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. We'll play it. We'll pay a hundred percent of his wages and we'll take him. That sorts out the striker position. Now I'm looking. I know for sure we need a right back. Who could we, who could we bring in for, for our right back? Emerson is, is also a very good left back. Is he transfer listed for loan or on loan or no? Let me see if they will offer him out on loan. West Ham. Don't want to, they don't want him to leave on loan. Okay. Neto, we know, has gone to Chelsea. Buemo, still at Brentford. He's a player I would really be interested in bringing into the club. we got Jensen. He's injured. Rutter, again, if he's out for loan, he wouldn't be a bad signing. See, everyone's saying he's a decent signing. How much is he worth, though? So, we got Ben Cabango as well. He seems decent. We don't need a left back. We also we actually need a right back. Is there a way for us to try and focus on getting a right back? We've got 1.6 million to spend as well, which obviously we're not going to spend all of that. Michael Antonio is also a player that he's 33 and he's been decent for West Ham. Five goals last season, 10 goals the season before. He is getting older. Would he be a, a good player for us to bring in? That's the thing. Would he be a, a, a good player to bring in? Yeah, so we'll try we'll try and bring him in on loan just because we need some cover here and there. Dakar. If we could get Dakar, this would be a game changer as well. A hundred percent. Leicester have negotiated the offer. Leicester would require a play a playing wage contribution of fifty K a week. Leicester would also like a clause included requiring Crystal Palace to buy the player for ten mil at the end of the loan. Mandatory for ten mil for Dakar. I don't even think we'll have that money. Come on man. Seven point five. We can only we can only afford that man. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to come out of that offer for Dakar. And any more realistic signings that we could make? I don't think we've got any realistic ones that we could make. But let's have a look at a lower league at the moment and see if we can find any players. I'm trying to find some players now. I know for sure we need a right back. Could we go to Leicester? Do Leicester have any right back players that we could take? Mavadidi is a player, he's worth around 15 million. We may have to scout him because he is a player that we could bring in. And Didi is also another player that we could bring in at the age of 26. He would be very useful for us. Can we get him in on loan though? That's the thing. We'll, 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 we'll be willing to pay. I know they're not going to accept that. However, they may be persuaded for an offer. So we haven't got much to offer at the moment. Yeah, we don't have any money. We need to come up with some money. You know what? Vardy would be a signing at the age of 36. Vardy would be a really good signing. They, we ain't got any We ain't got any money. This is crazy. Okay, who else is here? Southampton. Southampton have really good players as well. Walker Peters is a player 21. Oh my days, man. We're not going to be able to get any player for that amount of money. we got no money right now. Ah, the season's not even started yet, guys. And we're... Sh we're, we're, we're we're trying to make we're trying to make Crystal Palace better off. So there we go, guys. Antonio, Michael Antonio has also accepted an offer. So we should be able to get him in, in the club as well. And Mateta, 
I think I'm definitely gonna get rid of Mateta. So we've got the offer coming through now. We have to purchase Antonio from West Ham. And I think he has what it takes to lead this club. He's joined the club now. First signing, it's only cost us 1.1 million. And we are gonna register him as well. 